Hallelujah. Brethren in the Lord, it is another day. And we have met again. And who has done this? The Savior, our Lord. Lord has done this for us. So beloved, let us thank him in a prayer. So shall we bow our head and then let us pray. Immortal everlasting father, you alone is worthy. With you all things are possible for giving us another day, another life. Only you is the owner of it. Take all your glory, take all your honor for giving us another day like this. May your name be adored forever, O oh Lord. Your word is settled. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, he has done it for us again, giving us a life around the whole globe. Only him alone can do it. And so today we have met again. Beloved, I greet you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It is by his power that he has done this for us. And may your heart desire be met by him alone. Only him can help you and I. Hallelujah. We thank him. Beloved, he has given us a word. And the title of the message is Pride Promote Stiffness. Pride Promote Stiffness. So without wasting time, we will go to the book of James. James 4, the verses are one to six. Let us hear the word of God. Hallelujah. And I read one going. Where do wars and fight come from among you? Do they not come from your own desire for a pleasure that war in your members? Your lust and do not have. You murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight the war, yet you do not have because you do not ask. Three. You ask and do not receive because you ask amen. Ms. Because you ask, amaze rather, that you may spend it on your precious. For adulteries and adulteresses, do you know that the friendship with the world is enmity with God? He is asking us. Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world, make himself an enemy of God. Five, or do you think that the scripture says it's in vain? The spirit who dwell in us, yearn jealousy, the last verse, but he gave more grace. Therefore, he said, God resists the pride, but give grace to the humble. Amen. Beloved, let us go back to the scripture and know what the scripture is telling us. It says, where do wars and fight come among us? The war it is through ourself, our wicked ways, things that we does that does not please God. 
the lust of the eye requires so many things, which is evil. I want this, I want that. Luxury. So all these are nothing but the flesh of the eye. So it is a lust. We try to do so many things, which it doesn't please God. So he is telling us, the book of James, we murder. We murder and covet that cannot be obtained. Yes, we murder through what? Through abortion. Through what? Through masturbating. We have done all this. And it is an abomination unto God. The prostitute. Look at what they do with the body. It is an abomination. And murder cases. Abortion. The so-called doctors. They abort people. They abort children. And we bring all this unto our soul. So, beloved, our hands are never clean. We should run away from all these filthy things. It doesn't please our God. We continue. And three says, you ask and do not receive. We ask, we don't receive it. Why? Because of sin. Sin separates us from God. And it is an abomination. So we have to run away from our crooked way and stop evil. And with that, it will not be a good thing for us. So beloved, let us continue. And it says, you don't receive and it is a mess because we don't write the right we don't ask him the right thing. We are filthy before him. And how? He said he doesn't throw his good things for the dogs. So, beloved, our hands has to be clean. Hallelujah. Number four says, adulteress and adulteresses, fornicators. Evil things with this body, sleeping, 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 doing fornication. A woman, married woman, after work, he will take his ring, go to hotel, and sleep with another man. What a shameful. And then you will wipe your mouth and come home. What have you done? It is an abomination to your children, to your husband, and yourself. So, beloved, we have to stop this crooked way, this evil way. It doesn't please our maker. Let us continue. And when we do this, how can we be friendship with our goal? We can never. This world is passing away. So why are we chasing things? Doing evil. Incantation. Going to the shrine. For what? What are you looking for? Don't you know the owner of the land is coming? And where are you heading to? With all this abomination thing. If you have a room full of money, where are you taking it? Beloved, we have to stop. We have to run away from sin. Sin, sin, sin separate us from Almighty Jehovah. We continue. Whoever wants to be a friend of this world, make himself an enemy to God. Do you want to be a friend to God? As Abraham was a friend to God, 
He obeyed God. So what about you and I? This is our generation. He is telling us this world is passing by. He made it and he is coming. So are you prepared to be with the Lord? Or you will be with your sinful nature. Today is the day. Why don't you give your life to the owner of life? Our Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Number five. Or do you think the scripture is in vain? What he's saying? Don't you believe it? You should believe it and trust it and accept it, the word of God. He made you and I. So this is the day to change your mind and throw the filthy things away. The adulterers, the fornicators, the drinkerness. There is no room. He said at the back of the city, that is where you will be. Run away from your sin and accept Christ as your personal savior. He will save you. The last verse, but he will give more grace. Therefore, he said, God resists the pride. You are pride of what? Why are you pompous? Pride of what? He hid the pride, so throw it away and humble yourself. He will give you grace. It is only him that has everything and all things belong to him. This is the moment, beloved. The message has come. Why don't you change your thought and your mind? And our Savior will save you. He alone is worthy. He alone can help you and I. So today is the day. Give your life to him. He will save you. Tomorrow it will be too late. It is only today that you and I have. Oh, merciful immortal God, have mercy upon our life. Spirit of the living God, without you, we cannot make it. Help us to make it. We thank you and thank you and thank you for giving us the mercy like this. This is the end time. So beloved, don't let anybody change you or your thoughts but rather accept Christ. May those who hasn't given their life to Christ, this is the moment, accept Christ and he will help you. He will save you. He alone is worthy. We give him all his glory. Spirit of the living God, may you help us and also help your prophet, the one that you have called and ordained, the wife, the children, and his viewers, may you bless them and let them know that it is only you that blesses a soul. We give you all the glory in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Your word has come forth. Amen.